All right, fellas, intense full body workout. Let's get straight into it. But let me just start off by making my case for full, full body workouts. You don't gotta do quads every time. You don't gotta do legs every time, guys. You just, the, the idea behind full body is, you know, you're just not following the set split. So anyways, that's my case here. I'm doing some swimmers uh, just to loosen up the rotator cuffs. And, you know, I have a history of shoulder issues. So getting these in is a must before uh, these heavy compound movements along with these thoracic rotations. Um, you know, if you're somebody with back issues or you're just somebody who sits at a table or a desk all the time, you know, you definitely got to be doing some sort of spinal mobility. Um, and, you know, you definitely got to consider rotation because nobody thinks about rotation. Bridges, this is something I just started doing recently and I'm getting pretty good at these. Uh, you know, this is just, just going to loosen the shit out of your fucking um, thoracic lumbar spine and get you in a good state to be able to press. Cause if you, if you can't um, do, if you, if you don't have proper thoracic uh, extension, you're not gonna be able to go into like an overhead press properly. You're gonna put a lot of strain on your rotator cuffs. So that's what I'm doing. And then I get into the Z press. This is real good because this is a self-limiting variation. You can't use as much weight. So you're gonna get more out of less weight. And then also because of the fact that you're sitting down with your legs spread out, it forces you to press properly. So if you're not able to press up and back and get that proper pressing motion, then you're not gonna be able to get that weight up. So yep, here I am pretty much fucking pushing it to the max, three sets of eight. Uh, you know, I had been increasing the weight every week, um, getting into some weighted chin-ups. You know, not much to be said here. Back is clearly my fucking best body part. And I attribute that you know, almost entirely to pull-ups. You gotta do all different sorts of grips. You gotta do them weighted. You gotta focus on progressive overload. Stop doing those pussy ass lap pull-downs. So, yep, three sets of eight pull-ups. And then I'm getting into these, you know, I went absolutely hard as shit on these. Uh, I believe in a, having a strong lower back is gonna bring you aesthetics in, it, in and of itself, but also it's gonna um, translate to your other lifts and keep you protected. So you gotta be doing direct lower back work. And I recommend doing it heavy. You know, the, I had like a, I had a fun time doing these and I know my fucking lower back is gonna come out so fucking strong and so fucking massive. Like I can already see the, the Christmas tree in it. So I can't even imagine until I get lean. Dumbbell pullovers. I know everybody on the internet loves this fucking exercise cause Arnold said he does it. I don't even do it for the lats guys. I don't do it for the chest. If you wanna hit those muscles, there's better movements. I do these for the rib cage expansion for the serratus activation and for the um, thoracic extension. Basically, it's just gonna keep my back and my shoulders healthy. I'm somebody with a history of back and shoulder pain. So doing these is gonna keep me healthy. And then, you know, you can argue that it's gonna expand your rib cage over time and have some positive impacts on your physique, like increasing your V taper. But yeah, uh, pair that with the Y rays all the time. Fucking love these. As you can see that little fucking fingerling muscle under my rib cage right there, that's your serratus. So that muscle just looks fucking dope. And then also it plays a, a big role in shoulder health. Um, but yeah, here I'm doing these for the lower traps. Um, get on the, the, the back extension and just lift your arms up like this. Three sets of eight for pretty much everything here. Um, these are just gonna keep your shoulders healthy pretty much. You know, They're not gonna do a whole lot to your physique, but I still recommend doing them. Longevity is the key to games, guys. You gotta stay, you gotta stay in this game for longer than everybody else. Lateral raises, I don't even really do a whole lot of lateral raises. I just incorporate these one time a week. I feel like most of your shoulder gains are gonna come from the pressing, but this is kind of just to top things off, get that nice medial head activation. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't believe in, in just minimalist training. So I do believe you gotta do isolation work. You do gotta hit, you know, muscles from different angles. You can't just do squat, bench, deadlift. You gotta do the fucking accessories, guys, if you want a nice physique and you don't want imbalances. Um, cross body tricep extensions. I do these for the long head of the triceps. Uh, you know, the long head is gonna be the most important head uh, for aesthetics, and you're not really gonna be hitting it with any of your pressing motions. With the pressing, you're gonna hit more lateral, medial. Here, you're gonna hit that long head that's gonna fucking hang off your arm and kind of give you that sweep. So these are dope. Uh, make sure you're extending your shoulders behind you and make sure you're keeping your shoulders externally rotated. And yeah, you know, you can see my back looks fucking massive, guys. That's just from years of fucking hard work and consistency, especially with the pull-ups. Like I, 
the you know despite all the back issues and stuff i feel like um upper back like pull-ups lat training all that stuff has been uh you know a staple in my routine even through all that and i think that's a big part of the reason why my back looks the way it does you know on top of genetics and uh you know being a swimmer younger in life but yeah here i'm doing the nordics uh my hamstrings are tight as shit i went into the massage therapist and she thought she thought it was a fucking bone and it turned out to be my muscle my hamstrings but yep Cable curl is one of my favorite bicep movements if you want a nice pump. Make sure you're squeezing at the top on every one because this is like a very um, squeezed focus movement rather than a stretch focus movement because anything with the cable is. And yeah, you know, my biceps are getting fucking huge. I've been doing arms four times a week on this full body shit. You know, I'm only doing legs. Uh, two times a week, basically. I mean, I guess you could say the, the hyper extensions are hitting my uh, glutes and my hamstrings, but as far as quads, like I'm only getting a little bit of quad stimulus two to three times a week, and I'm only doing like two exercises. But arms, abs, I'm hitting arms, core, four times a week, because different muscles recover at different rates. So you gotta train them like that accordingly if you wanna maximize your gains. And that's why I promote full body training, not necessarily every single muscle group every single day, but it just means you're not following that split routine, you know? So, yep, finishing up with the wood chops. You see the band around my knee. Uh, that's just for extra balance. I really fucking like these. Um, I believe you gotta add rotational movements into your program. Nobody does these. And you definitely gotta work your obliques because your obliques are gonna play a key part in stabilizing you in your squats and deadlifts. So if you don't have strong obliques, you're gonna leak out power. And yep, it's also gonna translate over nicely to any sport that you're playing. So if you play basketball, uh, football, baseball, any of those sports, definitely need to be doing these. And yeah, guys, just um, fucking subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you thought about this workout. And you know, definitely try this one out.